Rwanda has been investing heavily in infrastructure projects to achieve its development goal. According to the World Bank Rwanda Economic Update, despite large investment, the country needs to increase infrastructure investment further to achieve its development goal. The report says increased private sector financing will be essential to close Rwanda's infrastructure financing gap. So in this video we are going to be discussing with you 8 mega infrastructural project that is making Rwanda the most developed country in East Africa. But before we start, please use 3 seconds of your time to click the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Without wasting much of your time, let's delve into the video. Number 1. The Joint Rwanda DRC Electricity Project The project is one of the top priorities in Rwanda's 2022-2023 Projects Watch List. The project aims to distribute electricity from the new DRC project to Goma, the capital of DRC's North Kivu province, by the Congolese company Sakodi. The project will be run by Shema Power Lake Kivu, which bought stakes in the two projects with a combined projected output of 82 megawatts from Symbian in 2019. The joint Rwanda DRC electricity project is worth 13 billion Rwandan francs. The project is expected to expand Rwanda's grid power from 276 MW in 2022 to 556 MW in 2024. The government of Rwanda recognizes that availability of efficient and reliable energy supply is a prerequisite for social prosperity, human development, and economic growth. The project will displace a significant amount of fossil-based power in the ECGLC region and increase the percentage of green energy. Additional benefits of the project include the creation of permanent and temporary jobs and a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Number 2. The Nyabarongo 2 Hydropower Project the Nyabarongo 2 hydropower project is a public project to be developed by the government of Rwanda across Nyabarongo River to generate an electric power of 43.5 MW. The project is located on the main stream of Nyabarongo River at the junction of Rwanda's northern and southern provinces. The plant will comprise three 14.5 MW units to be added on the national grid and will generate 43.5 MW of electrical energy by harnessing hydropower. China's Sinawadro was awarded the engineering, procurement, and construction contract for the Nyabarongo 2 hydropower project. The Nyabarongo 2 hydropower plant is expected to be operational between September 2025 and January 2026. The Nyabarongo 2 hydropower project is estimated to cost $214 million and is expected to generate 43.5 megawatts of electricity. Nyabarongo 2 hydropower project is a multipurpose project expected to cater for water supply irrigation as well as electrical power generation. The project is also envisaged to mitigate the perpetual flooding downstream of the Nyabarongo River that has proved to be hazardous in recent years. The project will also improve the current irrigation infrastructure and turn 20,000 hectares of the surrounding swamp into arable land. Nyabarongo 2 hydropower project is expected to contribute to more than 11.5% of the total electricity on the national grid. This will help boost Rwanda's economy by increasing its electricity generation capacity and improving its agricultural sector. Number 3. Mega Basilica at Kaipo Holy Site Project Mega Basilica at Kaipo Holy Site Project is construction of a very big basilica that could host between 8,000 and 10,000 people and it will have a VIP section too. If the plan goes well, the project will be completed by November 2023 with capacity of 10,000 seats as well as a very big ground outside. He said adding that the outside area will be enough to accommodate up to 100,000 pilgrims. According to some articles, this project is expected to cost $70 million. Number 4. The Compressed Natural Gas Plant Project The construction of a compressed natural gas plant in Biwishur, Karangi District, Rwanda was launched on August 18, 2022 by Rwanda's Prime Minister Edward Njaya. The project is estimated to cost $530 million and will be financed by a Frexham bank. The project aims to provide a long-term, environmentally friendly, affordable source of domestically produced gas. It includes producing the gas, processing it on barges tethered in the lake, piping it to shore, compressing it, and distributing it as compressed natural gas within Rwanda. The project could serve 300 to 400,000 households who currently depend on wood fuel for cooking. It will help reduce the use of wood fuel for cooking and improve the health of women and children who are exposed to indoor air pollution from burning wood. The project could also create jobs and boost the economy of Rwanda. The project will be implemented by GASMETH, an international company that specializes in the production and distribution of compressed natural gas. The project is estimated to cost $530 million and will be financed by a Frexham bank. Number 5. 
Randa Solar Plant Project. Randa government has signed a deal to install a new solar power plant in the Kayonza district. The plant will add 10 megawatts to the national security grid in the next 21 months. The construction of the plant will cost $30 million. Currently, Randa's total on-grid installed solar energy is 12.230 MW originating from five solar power plants, namely Jolly Power Plant generating 0, 25 MW, Ramagana Gigawatt generating 8.5 MW, Indera Solar Power Plant generating 0, 15 MW, and the National Solar Plant generating 3.3 MW. The solar plant project in Rwanda will help the long-term sustainability of the country. It is good for the environment. It generates local employment and education, and it empowers the country with access to electricity, which in itself results in a myriad of benefits for the Rwandan population. With an increase of 6% in its electrical capacity, Rwanda continues to benefit significantly from improved social welfare in the country, increased economic output and employment conditions, and improved standard of living conditions for residents. The project has also minimized the environmental impact from new energy production. Number 6. Vision City Project in Kigali Vision City is a multi-phase housing development in Kigali and are currently being built by Ultimate Developers Limited for the Rwanda Social Security Board. It is the largest residential housing project in the country's history with 450 units and a total cost of $150 million. The first 500 units were completed in 2017. The Vision City, Kigali is the biggest residential housing project in Rwanda, developed based on the understanding of the Rwanda housing and real estate market. The Vision City project is expected to benefit the economy of Rwanda by creating jobs for the locals and boosting the country's real estate sector. The project is also expected to provide affordable housing for the people of Rwanda. Number 7. Kigali Innovation City Kigali Innovation City is a technology cluster planned for Kigali and Rwanda. The government of Rwanda hopes to attract both domestic and foreign universities, technology companies and biotech firms, and have commercial and retail real estate. It is being developed to be a mixed-use, master plan, innovation city to be situated on 60 hectares of land in Kigali. It will seek to facilitate the development of pan-African talent and act as a technology innovation hub. The construction for the infrastructure of the Kigali Innovation City was expected to start in 2022, with a projected cost of $300 million. The project is expected to generate $150 million in ICT exports annually and should attract over $300 million in foreign direct investments. According to Claire Akamanzi, Chief Executive Officer of RDB, the Kigali Innovation City will boost the economy, where the country will be able to make ICT exports and also help in the development of young talents and help the innovation sector grow. The project is aimed at developing cutting-edge solutions to help stimulate economic growth in Rwanda, region, and on a continental basis. Number 8. Rehabilitation of Paved National Roads The government of Rwanda and the OPEC Fund for International Development signed a financing agreement worth $18 million to rehabilitate 36 kilometers Nyasyanga Mukoto Road. The road will connect two important national paved roads from northern part of the city of Kigali to northern. The Ministry of Infrastructure is ensuring that the national road network is expanded, rehabilitated, upgraded, and maintained. Rwanda has put in place three-year term maintenance contract to ensure proper and timely maintenance of the national paved road network. As a result, the trunk road network is currently at 96% in good condition. Rwanda has a total of 12,000 kilometers of roads, of which 1,000 kilometers are paved. The remainder are dirt roads with quality varying from smooth hard surfaces with drainage to rutted, extremely uneven tracks passable only with a four-wheel drive vehicle. The network of roads and highways has a total length of 4,700 kilometers. Infrastructure projects in Rwanda have the potential to improve the country's economy and quality of life. The rehabilitation of paved national roads will help to improve transportation and connectivity in the country. This will help to reduce transportation costs and increase access to markets, which will help to boost economic growth. The improved infrastructure will also help to attract foreign investment and create jobs. As we come to the end of the video, please share to us what you think about all this mega project that is going on in Rwanda on the comment section. But lastly, remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.